Hey guys, what is up? It is Kaylin. Welcome back to Golden Retriever Mom. And this is Max, my partner in crime. Say hi! Hi! So we wanted to do kind of a meet and greet while we play today. Let's get your ball! Where'd the ball go? Um, you haven't really gotten to know Max that well yet, so I thought... Oh good boy, there's the balls! I didn't even see them down here! So I thought, you know, why not now? Um, Sorry, he wants to sit on my lap. Uh, get to know us a little better, especially my Max right here. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so while we're playing, I'm going to answer some questions that I think are frequently asked questions about Max. Hey Max, can I see you? You want this one? You want to go get it? So you'll have to excuse my laundry here. Uh, we had our washer break last week and we had to get a new one and they can't bring it until Saturday of next week. So we're on the, on the, on the journey to getting a new one right now. Hi. So here he is. He is five years old. He is a purebred golden retriever. Uh, he is not a KC registered because at the time that we got him, I didn't want to spend the money on papers, honestly, because I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much to me. So we opted to not register him and just get him as a pet. And he has been amazing. He's a friendly guy. He loves everyone. Um, his favorite treats are milk bone minis, little mini cookies. Um, he loves all crunchy food. And he also loves foods like apples, carrots, peas. Uh, what else do you like? He likes those snap peas, uh, green beans, mangoes, kiwi fruit, pineapple. He's basically tried. Oh, he likes eggs. Um, he loves meat of any kind. Bacon, chicken, turkey, everything. Um, beef. He's had a little bit of beef roast. One day when mommy was making it, did you have some, huh? Um, He's tried everything, and, and he likes most of it. The only thing he doesn't really like is cucumber. He will eat it if it doesn't have skin on it, but he doesn't love it. Hey, Max, do you want to play your bowling game? Should we play Max bowling? Okay, we'll move into the light so we can play bowling, and I'll show you how Max plays bowling while we answer some more questions. All right, so I'll show you how to play bowling with your dog. This is really fun. No, we're not going to eat anymore. We're going to play bowling. Hey, Max. Max, we're gonna play, see? We're gonna play, can sit. Oh, buddy. Somebody uh, already tried to pick this one up on his own. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there is water, there it is. Oh, it focused for a minute, but my leg's getting all wet, hold on. Somebody wants more crunchies. Are you hungry? Seriously, how are you hungry? How are you hungry, you just ate? Are you wanting mommy to put some foods in here right now? You're a stinker. Okay, come on. All right, so I guess he's gonna want a snack instead. So how about, what do you feel like having? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want strawberries? Oh, that's not focusing at all. You want strawberries? How about blueberries? Mango? You gotta give me something to work with here, baby. Uh, cheese? Pepperoni? Crunchies? Do you want crunchies? Alright, let's go get a scoop of crunchies. So, this is, this is what happens when your dog learns how to play bowling and then tries to get you to play with them. <laughs> Especially if you have a golden, because hello, teeth. All right, baby. Are you gonna come with me? You're gonna make mommy do all the work, or are you gonna come too? Come on. 
Come on, Max. All right. Please excuse my uh, pandemic stash here. You never know what's going to sell out, so I just bought one of everything, see? He's a good boy. Oh, this is good lighting here, actually. All right, so frequently asked questions about Max. Um, a lot of people will ask, is he a boy or a girl? He's a boy. <laughs> uh, we get she a lot from him because he's just so gorgeous. Like, I think most people assume that boy dogs are ugly. I don't know. Look, oh, you got a silly face. You got your silly face. Oh my gosh. You are hungry. Are you hungry? Why are you so hungry today? He acts like we don't feed him. He's already had dinner. But I'll give him another scoop because I just ran him outside a little bit. This is the Farmina um, lamb and blueberry. Actually, I bought this before we realized he needed to be on a weight loss formula. So, um, really only giving this to him today because he's had a really big day. Um, today he got to go on a car ride with me and his dad. And he got to go to the bank with us and see the inside of a bank and watch the bank tellers. You say hi, camera. Mommy put you on the camera so everybody could see you eating because you're so cute. Trying to find a good angle for you guys. So he got to see all the tellers, and then when we were done, they gave him a cookie because he was such a good boy. Um, a little angel puppy. He's just so sweet. He's the sweetest guy. A couple of nights ago, so one of the sweetest things he does is cuddle. Um, when he's tired, he loves to snuggle. And the other night, my husband came to bed at like 2 a.m. And Max came in on top of the bed, climbed on top of my husband and just lay down on top of him and just laid his head down on his chest so that he could get bear hugs. And it was just the sweetest thing. And every now and then he'd pick his head up and just look to make sure that Jason was still hugging him. And... It was just so sweet. And then he'd lay back down again for the bear cuddles and the bear hugs, you know. That's just sweet or what. He follows me everywhere. He's my Velcro dog. Um, and it's funny because I had a coworker who had a golden that I learned pretty much everything about goldens from. Um, so Brian T, if you're, if you happen to catch this, thanks for teaching me all the golden stuff. Uh, oh, is that all gone? Is that all done? Okay, here you want some water? I'll get out of the way. This is giant water bowl. Here you go, your buddy. Hey, you go ahead. He's very polite. So he's waiting for me to move so that he can have some. Yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Are you thirsty? Yeah, I want mommy scratchies. It's just scratchers, scratchers. Uh, and I expected him to be a Velcro dog right away. He really was from the very beginning. He did not want to spend time in his crate at all when he was little. I spent the first couple of nights he was home sleeping outside his crate with him and got like no sleep. But <laughs> got about the same sleep you'd expect sleeping on the, on the floor, you know. But uh, I wanted him to be comfortable. And now that he's used to his crate, he'll put himself in there to go to sleep on his naps and stuff. Say hi, Kimma. He is about 75 pounds. That's his healthy weight. Right now, he's maybe up near closer to 80 because it's middle of winter. We've just had below zero weather, like far below zero weather for two weeks in a row. And he does not like wearing boots, so... You can't just get dog boots and put them on a dog that doesn't want to wear them. That's, they're just taking them off outside. Like, they will literally lay in the snow and take them off. Either that or they'll wiggle so much when you try to put them on that they won't. See us? Say hi. Hi. That's our snowy deck. Say hi. Oh, you're getting real close up here, baby. Mommy's trying to take a video of you. 
Oh, I love you too. He's gonna clean my my lap if I have crumbs. He's got naturally curly hair. He gets um, little crimps in his hair when it's wet, so after he gets a bath or goes swimming or whatever, you can see it gets crimpy on him. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Where are you? Where are you? There you are! There's the baby, hi, Peanut. Um, this is what his hair naturally looks like without being trimmed, really. He hasn't had a haircut for a few months, like sep September, I think was the last one, or October, like before it got cold. Um, no, so usually in the summertime, I'll trim his feet, like the hair on his feet, and trim the hair between the paw pads, but um, right now it's just so cold out that I want him to have his own little boots on him, <laughs> you know, just because he won't wear any of the boots that mommy picks out. Although I did get a pair of boots from like GFI or somewhere on Chewy and uh, those boots sucked. They, it was honestly like they made a sock for humans and then stuck like a little round piece of like rubber on the bottom, like that, like seriously, like a, a circle. And so, why the petting stop, mom? So, yeah, we decided to just, well, just all done, Kim. Kim is all done. You feel better now that you had some no mess? Mm -hmm.